So when the patient presents to the emergency room, sometimes you have uh, EKG findings that tell you the patient has a heart attack, and uh, then you go to the lab, to the cardiac cath lab immediately without waiting for the markers. But in the majority of the cases, the EKG it does not give you a specific signs of a heart attack. The EKG may not be helpful. So in this situation, you need a diagnostic test that can tell you yes or no this patient is having a heart attack or is not having a heart attack. Because if the patient is having a heart attack, you need to take care of the patient immediately. But on the other hand, if the patient does not have a heart attack, the patient does not need to stay in the emergency room for hours or to be admitted to the hospital uh, without a reason. So in those cases, ruling out a heart attack is as important as ruling it in. So you need a test uh, that tells you this patient is not having a heart attack. You can send him home safely. So this is uh, why those markers are very important. You know that the markers or biomarkers uh, are evolving very rapidly and every year we have new markers and we know more about markers. Or if we don't have new markers, we improve the old markers that we have. And the physicians have to stay up to date about uh, those markers. Uh, many of them uh, do not have time uh, to read the literature, to stay updated. So those meetings are important uh, to educate the physician and uh, let them use uh, the uh, state of the art, uh, you know, biomarkers and technology in order to take care of their patient. The emergency room doctors are the first one who would interact with the patient. So they can give you a good history, uh, what the presentation was, uh, what was done in the emergency room. Uh, the cardiologist needs to take a decision whether uh, to take this patient immediately to the cath lab, whether to start the medical therapy, cool him down with antiplatelet, anticoagulant, and then bring him later on to the cath lab. Uh, the laboratory doctors are the ones who are performing the test. So they also need to get some feedback about uh, you know, uh, the value of uh, this test. What, abnorm what is an abnormal value? You know, they, it may be written for them like the 99 percentile cutoff, but uh, you know, they need to know how uh, to interpret the test with the cinetics, you know, because this test has important kinetics. So it's the kinetics is as important as, as, as the value, the setup value. So a good collaboration between uh, the three physicians uh, is important uh, in order to uh, take a good care uh, of the patient. But I think the role of the cardiologist is the most important one.